I'm Tarbox Ransom. And I'm not a vampire. And this is Taste Test. We have truffle cheddar cheese. Uh, imported English cheddar blended with truffles. I've never had actual truffles before. I feel like I have, but I can't recall. No, no, that's toffee. That's... Yeah, I don't know if I've had it. Yeah, because I, I've had plenty of chocolate truffles, but not truffles truffles. Oh, there's a difference. Yes. I honestly did not know. Truffles are like a like a little spherical fungus that you find underground. They train uh, dogs to find them. Oh. They like traditionally you train pigs, but if you if you use a pig to find truffles, the pig will start eating the truffles when you find it. Ah. Yeah. I see. Okay, I didn't think that's what it was, but let's have. Fungus cheese. Yay! They're, they are uh, like, and we have a we have several different kinds of crackers. We have uh, triscuits, and then a sampler pack of toasted sesame, harvest wheat, and buttercrisp. Little, little. You choose now. I just want to do math Okay. And buttercrisp little round crackers. Let's see if any of these can redeem this fungus cheese. We're gonna try the uh, redeem. You're already against it. I am. I don't like it. Wait. I think we should we should try it try it by for, by itself first. What does that smell? Truffles, apparently. <laughs> All right, I'll go in it. I think it's perspirating. The fire. Hmm. That's some cheesy cheese. Yeah, I think a lot of that is because we had it. We've had this for a while, yeah. so it's been perspiring in the package. Mm -hmm. So this isn't going to be perfectly accurate to um the way that it is. Fresh it up package. Oh, this is another one of those Aldi cheeses, by the way. You know how we. Like our special selection of Aldi cheeses. I'm trying to tear apart the flavors, but it just tastes like cheese. Maybe it's like a like a richer cheese. Yeah. It might be because we left it in the package so long, but I'm just getting more cheese, not really anything else. And you know mm. there's stuff in there because there's little black spots. Yeah, you can see little speckles in it. It, it just feels like cheese, but enhanced by a lot. Which maybe is the point of, of eating truffles on things. Could be, and if that's the case, I think I like truffle cheese. Because hmm. really, this is the taste that I want when I want cheese. Alright, now how would you actually describe it? I don't know. It's kind of a flat line, sort of, just like straight cheese. There's not really any variety in it, for me at least. I kind of want to just eat it by itself. You think it's that good? No, I mean, when I had it with the Triscuit, I feel like the Triscuit distracted from the cheese. A little bit, I suppose. They both still work together well. The cheddar is, is fairly sharp for a store-bought cheese. Right. Which I like. There's like a hint of something else in there, but you can't really reach it. Mm -hmm. You search and you still find the cheddar. It's, it has kind of a warmer flavor. Hmm. It's smooth. It has it has a lot of substance to it. Like like whatever it is that you're having, you're having a lot of it, even if it's yeah. just a tiny little slice. Yeah, and you can definitely tell 
if you take a bigger slice or a bigger chunk of it, you can tell when you, what, how much you're eating, not just mm. its physical form, but just how much flavor there is. Yeah, I, I think we might get more of this in the future because this is already pretty grand. Yeah, I think we should try it. Against. We should try butter crust. Hmm. Like a real cheese connoisseur, you put the salted side down. Yes, I did. Hmm. They work together in how buttery they both are, but the butter grips kind of competes with the cheese. I think a lot of these crackers might be might be too much for this cheese. Could be. I didn't really feel that way about the Triscuit, but I did. I definitely did. Maybe mm -hmm. my mine my, my half of that slice might have been thinner than yours. Could have been. Right. Mm. Hmm. That's finally a combo that I really, really enjoyed. This is the um the wheat cracker. Yeah, they, they really... Oh goodness, how do I talk? They really hmm. mesh well, and they bring out the highlights of each other's flavors. This feels kind of like a... kind of like a walk in the forest. Or something. Something, something rustic like that. It has an earthy feel and not in a eating dirt kind of way. Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely. I really like having the wheat on your tongue first and then shifting into the cheese. It especially works really well for this particular cracker and cheese, whereas in other ones you'll get distracted by the cracker's taste and not really get anything from the cheese. Let's see. Toast to sesame is next. Mm. I don't like it. No, I think we might we remove this cracker from the rotation. Yeah, the sesame just stands out way too much. Mm. It doesn't complement the cheese. Honestly, I think the best experience was just having it straight. Between that and the wheat cheese, I think those are my favorites. The cheese on its own is really good, but then to have the wheat complement it, oh. I'm getting some. Hang on. And we're back. The cheese on its own is a very rich flavor, and it's basically everything you'd want if you like cheddar cheese, especially sharp, ch sharp cheddar cheese. And then the wheat and the wheat and cheese together, it's all good things. It's a beautiful blend and I'd want to keep eating it. Everything else either kind of gets in the way, doesn't add anything, or actively tries to fight it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, another one that's just that cheese. Mm. All in all, this is this is top notch. I really enjoy this cheese. I like the way better than I thought. Yeah. Gee, who knew rich people could actually eat something that tastes good? See, the joke is that most rich people food tastes terrible, and this is made from the garbage parts of the animal. They sound like they taste terrible. Like calamari sounds disgusting. Really? Yeah. I thought calamari sounded cool. Well, it sounds disgusting, I guess, partially because it's a rich people thing and it just looks nasty. I'm squid. <laughs> Are you squid now? <laughs> or a kid now?
It'd be good now, naked now. Do that, kind of fast. Um, it, without having more things with with truffle in it, it's hard to narrow down exactly what it is that that makes that so rich. Rich in the like, there's there's so much happening kind of way because it's there's a lot that's happening, but it's all very finely meshed together yeah. and it's subtle. Yeah, I gotta say this cheese had made me more open now to trying things with truffle. Mm -hmm. Even if I don't like the idea that they're a fungus. They're you know, like a black swirly knob. I don't want to know <laughs> this. What? Looks like an alien brain. I don't want to know this. It's like saying... Oh, or a comet. They also it, look like comets. It's like saying, oh, mold tastes really good, but you don't want to just see it in the wild. Well, that's what blue cheese is. Okay. What? The blue part of blue cheese is a mold. It's a white cheese with blue mold. Did you not know that? No, I did not. <laughs> okay, bye guys. <laughs> I, I think I might have ruined blue cheese for her. Well, it's okay, I don't like it anyways. Oh, uh, okay. Bye. Bye.